Sabi TV. Welcome back to your Bonge TV show. I Sabi TV people will Sabi the thing. If you know Sabi, you know Sabi. Welcome. I mean, your amazing host, Watch. And I remain your beautiful host, Jay. 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 Oh, I miss Jay. Because me, I miss Jay. No, I missed my babies and I know, I know they missed me. Too. Did you? Did, but so, so you, you don't miss me? I don't miss you. Like, yeah. I, I'd never. I don't miss you. I don't miss you. And yeah. then, yeah. Secretary General, Top Striker. Anyway, we get five Ubuntu segment for now today. Yeah. Yes, so we, which one we have I Sabi the street. Yes, so I Sabi the gist. I Sabi the person. I Sabi the style. And I Sabi the music. Okay, Ubuntu get music. <laughs> come give me now. Jai, jai, jai. <laughs> right, people, how on our weekend they go? So we'll start with I Sabi the gist. For gist this weekend, ah, Baba, we get one amazing event of the Baba Cortez. Big lunch. And the, the irony be say, the people wait to do a big lunch, we military people. How you will military person to write a book? I think we're poem. And a poem. A poem. No jail. This is what they That means the military person don't poet. I'm telling you. Oh wow. You got that right. Oh. The pen okay. is mightier than the sword. That was it. Okay. Anyways, we're going to see them as B vibes. Oh, P vibes. Yeah. You guys yeah, never see B vibes before, Abby. You're going to see him today. Amazing guy. Yo, we'll be right back. Me. Don't go nowhere. Stay there. Share your vision on Isabi TV. It's a very beautiful Saturday evening here at the Asni Place as we are here for the book unveiling and art exhibition of Omar Abubakar CD. Well, uh, it's a book unveiling party and also an art exhibition. So I'm the chairman of the planning committee and I'm just here to have fun. I'm just here rocking, looking at what uh, art can do to a society. If you go there, there's nowhere to even stand, not to talk or sit. So this is how people get entertained with art. This system is more or less the harmony. Because the harmony is the most important piece. The people of bad we want to scatter the peace. And that is exactly a true picture of a life to picture. Art Rascal, I don't know if you want to be referred to as an Art Rascal, okay? Um, what's your name? I'm Sub Lieutenant I.J. Bunaya. Beautiful, beautiful. So we have a military art man here. We, we have a military poetic man here. So what is art to you, even as a military officer? Okay, um, for me, art is liberty, right? It's not only in poetry, but um, the way you your everyday life right the way you dress the way you for me i'm not really a poet poet but i like to will i say i'm more inclined to the fashion part of art do you understand um sir please this is isabi tv so what what does this project mean to you um i i love to engage with poetry i i feel that every individual should have something to do with poetry a lot of people think that poetry is difficult but it is not because what poetry does to us is that it takes us into the innermost recesses of the soul, the human soul. For me, 
um, we should all have that ability to join it back into our souls. By so doing, we are able to connect ourselves with the totality of uh, the universe. As a military man, how did you get? Where did you get the drive to have the time, the spare time, to do poetry? Yeah. I mean, the military is a very interesting uh, profession, it's a very interesting career. It takes you to places, it makes you th see things, you know, where you get inspiration and all that. And there are duty periods and non-duty periods, so it is what you do with my time. I choose to do poetry, to read. There are other people too who do a lot of beautiful and amazing things. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to God for that. I'm very, very happy. I'm overwhelmed with the, with the, with the support, honestly, to be frank. If I may, uh, where do you see your work in the next 10 years? Because we want to see more of this. Um, well, I have a lot of books that I want to write. I have planned so many books. Um, I also do fiction, even though I haven't published any yet, only short stories here and there. So I have another book which will uh, soon be published. The publisher is already looking at it. And of course, I want to keep writing, writing, writing. I want to keep engaging with poetry. Someday we hope to see your poetry dramatized. Um, do you have any plans for that? Of course, we have a show coming up. Uh, we are planning that, where we have uh, these poems performed on stage as we did. For all the poems that were performed here, were from my book. Wow, that's beautiful. So, stay tuned on Asabi TV. We, we just finished speaking with the very convener of the book unveiling today and I hope you guys will enjoy this and get the book like butterflies scattered around do stay with us thank you very much thank you very much thank you sir. thank you get at me in terms of writing in terms of uh, poetry and all the rest so when I saw the book like the butterflies it's something like so amazing that tells more about life and it has a little bit of rascal in it so by the special grace of God, it's a wonderful event, it started well and it ended well and everybody here is all happy in respect of like the butterflies. That's beautiful. It was really an impressive evening and I really enjoyed every bit of it. So, so do, you, do you look to see more of this in Port Harcourt here? Absolutely, because uh, when last we had a discussion, we, 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 we thought about having some a, a home or a building where we kind of showcase artwork showcase nature come together have a cup of tea coffee and talk about poetry you know it's something that will motivate more people growing ones to come and see this kind of artworks you know i i am looking towards that and we'll definitely make it happen no, thank you. butterfly scattered around okay but in this case this butterfly is well put together so what's your name uh, my name is jennifer okay so what um, how did you feel about tonight's event uh, for me, knowing um, Umar Bakr Sidi personally, uh, it's just um, seeing him show himself to the world and you hardly find a poet who is an artist as well. So his paintings are also here and we all saw his work being displayed on the stage. So it's just um, to show that as Nigerians we are talented and gifted and um, it's just for the world to see how much we have to show out there and there's much more to the continent than just what is all over the air. That's good. If I may ask, um, do you see art bringing Nigerians together? Oh, oh yes, of course, because um, if you notice, everybody inside there was, even if you didn't come happy, at some point you were happy and we all left smiling and we all tried to connect to one or two people. I personally am from the north and I'm, I've met um, people who are from the south as well because I, I flew in all the way from Kaduna just to meet up with this event today. So um, it's just, it, of course, yes, it will make connect people. Oh, that's beautiful. I didn't even ask, what's your name? My name is Jennifer Dogo. I'm from Adamawa State. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's good to have you here at this Asabi TV. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you. We are still here at the book unveiling of the book, um, like Butterflies Scattered About with um, Omar Abubakar Sidi. And these are one of the attendants of this event. So, so what's your name? Yeah, I'm uh, Bulu Stella. I'm from Plateau State and ex work from Nigeria Military School. Oh, that's beautiful. So, so your presence here means you have a little bit of affinity with art. So, what, how did you see tonight's event? Actually, it's a great one. Most especially the the performance I saw by the art club. It was magnificent. I was highly impressed. In fact, I'm recommending 
that performance for the Nigerian military schools area. Wow, that's beautiful. Yes. That's that, that's a good yes. one. So, yes. Yes. so you're promoting art. Um, to, you're taking art to that level. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We're going to take them. I think the next speech and prize giving day that is going to be coming up by September in NMS Zaria, we should be able to bring that particular team so that we can inspire our boys. That's beautiful. This is a poster. So how do you see the, the, this evening's event? Well, I'm really impressed. Um, apart from the book itself, which, for which I came to be part of the book chat, I also enjoy the performance, like the last speaker said. I really didn't associate Port Harcourt with uh, this kind of cultural scene. It's really great to be here. I enjoyed my short stay. That would be beautiful. Where do you find time to write? And don't tell me it's spare time. So where do you find time to write these books? I said it's not really about the spare time. While the event was going on, I was spending down certain things, you know, maximizing the time while you're in the present. Sometimes you can carve out time for your, for your activities. Sometimes you maximize the time in the present, all right? So um, if you're always waiting for the time to come, you may never come. That's how it is. And then we, some of us live a very regimented life, just like the military men you get. So while other individuals may be enjoying or attending parties or going to some other places, I spend my time alone writing my books for the consumption of my audience and the public. So that's how we, we do this. My name is Foresight. Foresight. Now just give me in one sentence, what's your foresight or your vision for poetry in Port Harcourt? Um, my vision of poetry in Portacourt is that it's going to grow from what we used to know it to something big. Because as you can see, it's obvious, it's growing. We don't need to have this kind of crowd in a uh, poetry event, but you can see today it's massive. Share your vision on Isabi TV. <laughs> anyway, how that takes to the event? Be by the and for Nabi. No, we, we catch you guys coming. Be vibes, not really vibe. I swear. It ain't <laughs> The man with the vibes. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it because we did enjoy it. Right? Yeah, I did. Moving on to Aisabi Day. Person. You should, you should, you should, you should start a person. No, person. Person. No, this time. I go school, I'm not be like you. Hey. Alright, so darlings, on Aisabi the person would leave it open because we want you guys to guess. guess. Yes, yes. Who guess. the person is? Yeah. You guys allow, allow, you go, allow me you tell me, let me help you land now. I love you so much. I'm helping you. I've missed, missed you. I've missed you. I've missed you, baby. People on suit, they, they, they are very well contained. Hello. Please, I'm contained. Alright, like... so darlings. So darlings, and I start with a person, would let you all meet this person by yourself because we want the suspense and we want you guys to enjoy every bit of this particular person. Thank you. So why do you cut me short first of all? We'll be right back. Why do you cut me short? I can't pass you, I know what you say. No, I'm six foot at the I mean, pocket wise, you should. Share your vision on Isabi TV. Hello, my name is Zina Victoria. I'm an actor, a producer, a content creator. I have um, a show coming up titled The Red Show with Zina Victoria. And I'm also a businesswoman. That has not been funny, has not been easy. Um, after school, I tried to do um, one or two things around Port Harcourt, outside Port Harcourt, and but you know, when you're coming up, you have to struggle with a lot of obstacles from producers, directors, um, there's tribalisms at a point. Well, it's been good. God has been faithful. I've done a couple of movies, yeah? But we'll get there someday. I, I did snap which um, I love a lot because it's, uh, um, it's a story that actually depicts um, domestic violence and then it teaches people on how to control their temper and the results of not controlling your temper. You can actually walk away from things that will lead you to regret. So, but I did um, Broken, I did um, um, Princess of the Sun, I did that in Asaba, and a couple of them. Uh, I have a, a lot of them, but one of them that I love a lot that um, he respects you even if you are not a celebrity, like tag the celebrity yet, upcoming or not, he respects you and, and he still pays you. It's good news. Good news is a very nice director, very nice director, a good storyteller. Then, um, Benga Doti. I cannot forget that guy. That's my that's my guy. That's my friend. That's my nigga man. That guy is a good producer, a good director. Like he sees things 
from every angle there's always a way you can you create things that even you cannot imagine well, it's doing well it's in lagos right now then oru yomi and uh, very nice director very nice director he was the one that called me up for snap and it was a good experience with him i used to see him like somebody who, who is too um somebody who is too himself he just too strict is because sometimes he had this smile and i but when i got close and we walked together i knew that uh outside this oh strong face and coldness there's a loving and caring director that i say princess of the sun yeah princess of the sun in nasaba because i was struggling with um speaking Igbo, and so they had to change the character and give it to somebody that can speak Igbo fluently because they needed that Igbo on it so i just did a minor thing then anyways it was heartbreaking but it was fun although they didn't tell me from the beginning that i was going to speak Igbo i went for the audition my friend went with me went for the audition and we did the audition i did well then even the panel of judges said i did well i got a text message three days after i was in portacot got a text message i went back to asaba and we started they gave me a script we started shooting and i was struggling with the old Igbo. literally what i the only thing i know in Igbo is um biko bia <laughs> i'm not an Igbo girl now biko bia eh -eh. and then hey there's this other one no oh, but is that is 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 Hey, that should be an insult. Equinsu. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can never forget that thing. <laughs> well, anyways, it was difficult for me to pull through with the script because they were there's a point where they would just tell me to speak Igbo, 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 and I was learning. But I don't have a love for Igbo. If it was Yoruba, I don't have love for Igbo, so I couldn't learn. So they had to switch roles with the other girl. I don't know. Truthfully, <laughs> truthfully, I don't know. I don't know which is the best, which is the worst. But I know that I try to love the scenario, whether short, full film, YouTube, future film, Kinikon, whatever. I love it. But I am. Um, is it? Was it Snap? I think I had the most experience in Snap because everybody was you know when you're familiar with everybody you know everybody on set and you could just play nobody is trying to be shoulder is trying to be higher than anyone uh, aside the um, the male actor at the point mm -mm, at the point said at the beginning when i saw him he said he was giving me one vibe that i don't get but no me now we already in my head i tried to make him loosen up but he did at the end of the day and it was fun okay <laughs> i this might go to some persons in the wrong way but um i don't know if think portacot is just portacot yes there are people there are people aside the old aside comedians content creators and all when it comes to acting they are just the people that are there that does it there are not there, there are no films that come into portacot often like all the time there are no films that come all the time but you know there are these people the likes of um what uh, anger the rest over there your own the rest those people are trying yeah but i don't see anything really in portacourt not to forget queen wokoma and other persons but they still have to go out of portacourt to so do almost almost all the movies they do they, are, they do it out of portacourt but right now they are trying though i think um Watanga is shooting a, a movie in um portacourt i did some some couple of months ago yeah he was doing he was doing something i don't know if he's still doing though we was doing something some couple of months ago and yeah they are trying sure shall, shall i know i know this person yeah i know this person i want this person they don't do um 
they don't do the uh, how would I put the word that we will not get across to anybody like it's not be offensive they don't do the there's a talent let me do it let's do an audition and bring these people they just want to do something and mostly they do it just among themselves they don't call the other people that there are a lot of young talents actors producers and nobody wants to support you like nobody is coming up to support you when you are starting they want to support the ones that they already know people already know they don't want to support the upcoming ones so how would the film industry grow when these people you're supporting are the ones there they have been there they started somewhere they know them in and out of town and there, there are other ones that are trying to struggle to come up and then there are no support from the government from people from friends from whoever the only support we, ha we have actually is online support they help you do hey you're going there god is with you god is this god is that we're supporting you we're doing this we're rooting for you oh yeah now let's financial support coming never i don't have any regret no regret or whatsoever it might be hard i might be struggling yes but i don't regret anything all my decisions i went before I, I did four years no it was more than four years because i did certificate i did four years and i did extra year so in uniport so i can't just come out and start regretting why i actually choose this particular part of life that's it's fun um the red show is what i'm doing next and then i have um, a few i'm working on mira i'm still looking for funds for that because um I have a vision for that film. I have where I want that film to go to. So, but I'll do it. Um, although in two weeks time, I will be. I think I'll be shooting a short film, very short one. So, yeah, those are the things I'm working on. The short film that I'm doing in two weeks time, Battered. It's titled Battered. It's about domestic violence. The Mira is about rape. It's coming up. Um, God knows in the future. But I know that um, I'll, have to, I'll shoot it this year though. Then the red show um, was still working on that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three goes up for Isabi TV. Yeah, shout out to you people. Shout out to the producer of Isabi TV, Innocent. Thank you for having me here. I appreciate and uh, much love. We'll do this more on that some other time. Share your vision on. I Sabi TV. Why are you laughing now? Don't, 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 don't sit on camera. Leave no, it. No, 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 but plenty. But I plenty. Yes, because there will always be fights. There will always be. There will always be rivalry. There will always be people that will be like, okay. I beg you. Moving know. forward, Jare. We are moving on to I Sabi the streets. Yeah. Now in the street, you know how we do. We know J Boy got us covered, right? And this week, we want to make a little comparison. In the street, so I'm not going to tell you what it's all about. I'm just going to let J Boy take it all out. J Boy, will be right back. J Boy, no one talk plenty. You follow our hands. Ah, oh, father. And Lord. keep watching. Ah, oh, well, we go suspend anywhere. you. You follow our hands. Share your vision on Isabi TV. What's up, Africa? What's up, Nigeria? What's up, Potako? The only city we get PG name Potakwa City. Not as they do and normally now after reggae and blues more setting now for the studio we don't do the blues so we move come streets come do the reggae for all that so I found out as don't come here now today you get one small question we I'll call ask now today for the streets a very simple question and I believe say now go one year I'm now one year I'm now one year I'm oh yeah now we can tell you that our governor our number one chamo with the build fly over everywhere now for today now we won't cause it that money now when they use build this flyover alpha may just share out for people that people just take out or oh, they like this flyover where they, they see so we want to one already the one way our people go want so what i mean just share this money or may just continue with the flyover projects when they do oh yeah i'm gonna just sit back relax see you guys looking continue for the flyover when they, they continue do. basically yes. may they build flyover as they go yes why i, I, I like the flyover because Hold up, no go. Okay. For me. Every year go kill that. Okay. The motor will go. Okay. Yes, I like that. No, no, no. Yeah. Share. How many persons they want share now? How many persons where the money go reach? I mean... <laughs> oh, <laughs> definitely, definitely, now, project now, develop, it's called Developmental Strikes. Okay. And of course, uh, the governor is doing well for him to say, mm. instead of money to be shared, it should yes. be used for projects. Yeah. That project now, 
One is going to help Rivers people. Okay. Secondly, is going to speak as a legacy for him after he has left office. Okay. For development. Development. Yes. Okay. Why? Why? We have so many benefits now. Okay. Yes. Without the good road, without the good environment, we won't live long. Yeah. Understand? So sharing the money, some of them may end up eating the money. Mm. Understand? Okay. Those who don't know how to manage. Okay. So development is far better in this our modern age now. Okay. So it's the flyover, of course. Fly over. Mm -hmm. Why? Flyover is development now. So many places that we have hold of before now. Since we started building this uh, flyover, there is no hold of. Two, sharing the money has no... If you eat the money today, mm -hmm. tomorrow your, your child buys a car. Okay. Which road you want to drive on? You'd already drive the future today. And road no day to, road, no day to drive on. So you go do the flyover, then we'll go pass. Uh -huh. Now what do we want? For some of us, uh -huh, life done better pass so for us yeah. than to collect five million. Five million. Free money, they put the finish. But now when you work for, as you work for the money, you the guide and you the grow the money. Yes, sir. And you prefer? The thing is to make the flyovers. It's good though because most roads are bad. But if, if you share the money, it's yeah. even better it's even because better. <laughs> because there are plenty of families that need that money. Share your vision on Isabi TV. Welcome back babies, we hope you loved that particular segment of the show. Alright, so moving on. We are have Isabi the music. And you know what it is. I'll take you to the community. You know how it is. <laughs> Anyways, if you're just tuning in, you're tuning to Isabi TV, the people with Sabi the thing, with no Sabi, no Sabi. Welcome, let me show you the thing, for now we Sabi. Now you know the I made your amazing host, Raj, and she, the troublesome, annoying, but sweet, pretty, thick, <laughs> I feel like a cut right now. Come up for here, I beg you. Go, go, go cover music, I beg. For the music, you know how to do one. I beg, go go and go cover music before the <laughs> body starts. Let's see when I see for music, when I collect. <laughs> now, I see better things when I collect, but it's, it, you, you trust us always got, have you guys covered. We yeah. give you guys the best in the music. So make sure you have your dancing shoes on. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's your shoe? Oh, it's not easy. Wow. Haha. One, one. Yes, so. I've equalized. Share your vision on Isabi TV. <laughs> Baby like to lick it tum tum The fun boss says she not gonna need company She want to have the big in my love But oh daddy oh my baby want to run from me See I go switch sides for ya Make it for ya Stay put my baby oh See I go buy van for ya Stay by my side oh please oh my baby oh Lick it tum tum, lick it tum tum She get up in her, she get to be in my van Thunder, thunder, and it's all love, it's thunder Oh, girl, I feel that for you, oh, we? Switch sides, I could collapse for you, oh, yeah Oh, girl, why you fine, why you so fine? And you're making it hard to be my wife Girl, I feel that for you So welcome back guys, hope you all enjoyed our segment, hope you all enjoyed the music, hope you danced as much as you wanted to, whatever, one, one. whatever, one, one. whatever, we are equal, <laughs> we are equal, alright so guys, this is, we are coming to the end of the show today and at this point, we have to say our goodbyes, but it doesn't mean we are leaving you guys because we would always love you, we would always be here for you, and you know it's always a savvy TV for you anytime, any day. Hey, we love you guys. All right, so please do well to keep following us on all our social media platforms. Do well to ask any questions. Do well to leave your comments and please do well to follow our individual handles. We love you, love on your screen, and we do wish you a beautiful weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me forget our stylist as usual oh, yeah. of the dance signature. Yeah, thank whoever, you. Whoever made the record, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> 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 <laughs>